Let's head down to this young man next, Donnie, Scott Wheatley. All right, he's got a Kushma. bull we call Kushma, and we've seen him a couple of times. Terry Williams sends this bull here. It's a good one. Scott Whitney pulling that bull rope on his left hand. This bull will go either way, but he likes to go to the left. Donnie, as they're pulling this rope, you and I talked earlier, it is possible to pull that rope too tight, isn't it? Well, you know, the bull riders would, would take exception because I rode with a loose rope, so they all argue with me. But, uh, you know, anytime you pull it tight enough that you can't lean on it and pull it across the back, anything extra, you're trying to take advantage of the bull. It might Opinion. Great look at the wrap. Scott Wheatley. But, you know, it's really kind of hard to think that you could really take advantage of one of those bulls by, by another bull rider pulling on that rope. So, you know, take it right whatever you want. It sure does jerk you harder when they pull it tight. Here we go. Kushma. To the left. That's a good shot. He's got a good seat. Get up there. Get on the rubble seat. Had him going. Mm. Just had him going. Boy, for Scott Wheatley, that eight seconds must have seemed like an eternity, Donnie. No score for Scott Wheatley. Grambling, Colorado bull rider. You know, he's got him right here, but watch his head come up. See his head right there? It's coming up, and that's what slides him back on the, back there on the rumble seat, we call it, and just put too much pressure on him. Remember, these kind of bulls, you just can't make any mistakes. You can see Scott kind of rubbing his arm as he got off that time. You mentioned, Donnie, all the pressure on his arm. 